Hello everyone, it's Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to make a great old fashioned buttermilk pie. These pies are so simple to make and they taste wonderful. Now these pies aren't typically in restaurants, bakeries, or stores, so this pie you need to make at home, but guess what? It's super easy and you probably have everything you need on hand to make this pie right now. So we are going to begin by whisking two large size eggs in this medium sized bowl. Now I didn't even get out a mixer or anything else like that. You don't need to. So all you're gonna do is get these eggs whisked up to where they have a nice uniform consistency. And then we're gonna add in one cup of granulated sugar. So this pie is gonna have a very similar process. Whisk something in and wait till it all becomes nice and uniform and then add the next ingredient. And that ingredient is three quarters cup of melted butter. That's six ounces of melted butter. So this next step, it takes just a little bit to incorporate the butter in. You can see right now it's a little bit separated. So we're just gonna continue to stir this until it's incorporated. And once that gets incorporated, we are gonna add in just a pinch of salt, about one quarter teaspoon of salt. Now this is a buttermilk pie, so we're gonna help set this up with flour. Now if you're making a chess pie, you are gonna use cornmeal instead. So I'm adding just about one tablespoon of flour. So again, get this all mixed in. And once we do, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in one cup of buttermilk. Now for this recipe, I don't like to use the homemade buttermilk that you sour milk with either lemon juice or vinegar. I like to buy the commercially prepared product. I think that the pie result is better that way. So go ahead and put in your buttermilk. Then um, you're gonna go ahead and add in about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of vanilla. Get that mixed in. There you go, you've got this pie pretty well done. So I'm just gonna pour this into a nine inch unbaked pie shell. And then um, I'm gonna bake it for 50 minutes at 350 degrees. And then I'm gonna turn the oven down to 325 degrees and bake it for an additional 10 minutes. Now this pie may jiggle just a little bit when you take it out of the oven, that's okay, it's gonna set up. This pie is best served while it's warm. If you need to refrigerate this pie because you have some left over after you serve it, you should let it reach room temperature. And there you go. There is one fantastic buttermilk pie for you. So I appreciate you watching the video. Be sure to drop me a comment down below of what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.